The Kitchener-Waterloo train departs Etobicoke North Station, bound for Malton. On its way, the train will pass the proposed Woodbine Go Station at Highway 27 and the Woodbine Entertainment Properties, currently home to the racetrack and casino, which has its own construction underway right now. We're looking at this and we know that there's a need for for transit across the region and enhanced transit across the region. So for us, I think the important part is knowing that we're talking about it and we're planning about it. And the addition of Woodbine Station could also mean the loss of Etobicoke North, currently used by commuters multiple times a week. One gentleman told me uh, that he uses this station five days a week, another woman four days. Uh, I would feel upset because I use it quite often. Like, it would just be longer, a longer travel to get to Woodbine. Bissonoff said demolishing the current Etobicoke North station and opening Woodbine two kilometers away would free up the space for the railway to be widened from three mainline tracks to four. Again, the goal here is to, to create a station that's integrated, right? With Woodbine, we're looking at more connections. A station at the racetrack and casino would also be close to the Woodbine Center Mall and in close proximity to Humber College's North Campus, home to a bus terminal and the future home of the Finch West LRT station, which is set to be completed in 2023. As transit expands in the community, landscape design students at the University of Toronto have proposed to rid the Woodbine properties of some of their parking lots. The students started out by doing kind of city scale mapping. Um, And based on that, there were these kind of like hot zones or regions where there are overlapping of issues. And with the kind of Green New Deal in mind and issues that both intersect kind of social equity, but also environmental performance. The Woodbine area has 160 acres of parking lots considered impermeable surfaces. And students say this has led them to transit-centric solutions. Um, The Green New Deal calls for a decarbonized future. So as part of that decarbonized future, we were looking at alternatives, mostly public transit alternatives to to replace, you know, that car centric sort of um, mentality that we're so dependent on. And the students said they have not outlawed parking altogether. Instead, they've opted for vertical solutions. Luke Ettinger, Toronto.